Hi, Sag. This is going to be your love message for the end of July, July 31st to August 2nd. It is good for the sun rising, moon, or Venus sign of Sagittarius. Please keep in mind this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading. There are 7.5 billion people on the planet. Surely you're not all going through the same thing. So don't try to make this fit if it doesn't. This is just the energy I'll be picking up on today. If you would like a message to be personal, book a private reading with me. The link to my website to schedule is in the description below. If you're new to this channel, welcome, subscribe, hit the bell. I read for Sagittarius here and Libra every 72 hours, sometimes Cancer. On my other channel called Soma Chandra, the link to that channel is at the top of the description below. I read for all 12 zodiac signs. I read for you guys over there as well. Here we hyper-focus on relationships, romantic, familial, even close friendships. So this could apply to different relationships in your life, okay? They wanted me to use an angel oracle deck. I got self-reflection, believe in yourself, but that came in the reverse. You are safe and shielding. Wow. So a lot of you absolutely feel the need to shield yourself or it's something you're having a hard time seeing or something's burning very brightly. It might be scaring you. You might feel the need to shield yourself from it. Sometimes shielding does mean we don't want to see a truth, but I think you feel the need to protect yourself with shielding and you are safe. You're doing a lot of self-reflection. This poor little gal is sitting on a swing needing to believe in herself. I think that something has really shook you and rocked you here, Sagittarius. And this is the energy that you're in. It could be the energy another person is in as well. The reason for the reading is the Five of Pentacles. So some of you are feeling really left out in the cold, or perhaps you're worried about being left out in the cold. For some of you, this is about financial loss and poverty. But it can simply be isolation and a lacking mindset and just being worried. The challenge is the world. So you and this person could be very far away from each other. It's also possible that you're doing a lot of life review and this could have ended. This could be an ending and you're ready to start new cycles. But you might be worried about being left out in the cold or hurt in some way. I'm seeing, based on your oracle cards, a lot of vulnerability. You're showing me the Page of Swords. Your person's showing me the Page of Cups. So one of you is a little bit more emotionally curious than the other. Sag, you seem defensive and a little nervous, um, really needing to get more information before you proceed. Um, and this person is showing me the Page of Cups. They too, pages are both vulnerable. This could be, you could be two young people. This could be about kids. You could be just exploring and studying something. This could be a renewal of something from the past or you're moving into a new situations. You're both wanting to open up to each other to some degree, but you seem a little bit more nervous and anxious than they do. But the Page of Cups does feel somewhat vulnerable. They're emotionally curious. This person might be trying to offer you an apology of some kind and you're like, I don't know about that. Okay, let's see what comes out in your feelings. How is Sagittarius feeling? They want me to pick these up. Okay. Spirit, how is Sagittarius feeling about this person or this situation? Thank you. Yeah, the world doing a lot of life review. You're very paused between one cycle and the next. Again, distance or travel could be an issue or there's just an ending. You're wondering what's coming next. Three of Cups, you want healing, you want friendship, the chariot, you want forward motion. Some of you really want this healing, happy, fun energy with this person. You may feel as though you need to travel to get there. It might be a, a third party situation that you're trying to move on from. Or you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm not sure. Am I being put in a triangulation? I do have to drive all the way to get there. That could be what's happening as well. You could be dealing with a fixed sign or a cancer. How do you view this person? How do you view this person? How does Sagittarius view this person, spirit? Oh, too many cards. Eight of Swords. You think this person's in a situation that they're uncomfortable with. You think this person has somewhat of a victim mentality. There's something they're refusing to see. There's something they're stressed out about. You also think this person is very confused. <laughs> the Seven of Cups is overwhelmed. They have a lot of choices. 
you might think they do a lot of wishful thinking and live in an illusion. You might think that they refuse to see what's really happening in the situation and that they're very distracted by a lot of other things. Or that they feel really stuck in some way. They're confused. They're not really sure how they stand with you. What action does Sagittarius want to take towards this person? That's just how you see them. That might not be the case. Six of Wands. Will you want victory and success? But you also want to be celebrated and acknowledged. You want to be the winner in this situation. Eight of Cups. You definitely know you want to walk away from the past. This might be a person or a situation that you're walking away from, holding your head very high. But you at least want to leave the past behind. What other actions do you want to take towards this person? Queen of Swords. Who's that? This could be an air sign. <clears throat> this could be a person who sort of turned their back on you. But I think that if this is you, you could be the Queen of Swords in this situation. Um, that's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But I think you're saying, look, I really demand respect and attention here. I would like to be celebrated. I would like to be noticed. I would like to be recognized. I would like to be able to say publicly that we're in a relationship on Facebook. Thanks very much. <laughs> or there might be something that you've seen or you want to be seen and acknowledged in some way. You definitely know you have to leave the past behind. And moving forward, you really want truth, honesty, and a good solution. You might be coming off as somewhat detached. How do you really feel about this person? They might be turning their back on you. Two of Wands, you watch them from afar. You have more than one choice. The High Priestess, Pisces, Libra here. You're going to be very calm and passive. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra and a Pisces. You're with one, you're far away from another one, maybe. If that's not the case, and there's travel or distance involved, if that's not the case, I think you're being very calm and still and silent. The high priestess often has a secret. She doesn't show her hand of cards in the poker game of life. Some of you are visiting psychics. Justice, whoa, Libra energy here. Something could be going down in a court of law, government, contracts, agreements, judicial stuff could be happening. But you want justice, you want balance, you want fairness. And I think you're going to hold still until you get it. Now I got a Queen of Cups, Pisces here. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this person. Spirit, show me this person. <clears throat> show me more about how this person sees themselves in this relationship. Well, they're the three of cups. Friendships, openly dating, triangles of some kind, but not in a bad way. The king of cups. This person sees themselves as a king of cups or with a king of cups. Someone in this situation could drink a lot and be very indulgent to some degree. They see themselves as having a lot of love. Oh, the lovers. Whoa, this person sees themselves as the lovers. They want a loving relationship. But the lovers in the Three of Cups suggest there could be some kind of a love triangle going on. Okay, how does this person feel about Sagittarius? They also, they want happiness, they want friendship, they want celebration. But the King of Cups can be very sensitive and even somewhat passive. The pages, knights, and queens are a bit more expressive. This person does want a lover. They might want choices with the Three of Cups and the lovers here. How do they feel about Sagittarius? Four of Cups. They can't get you off their mind, Sag. Yeah, they really mope about you. For my masculine Sagittarius, you might have been the one that got away and they might have fucked up by messing around on you or something like that. That's possible. Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're all stuck in their head. They've gotten themselves in a situation emotionally. 
that they're not comfortable with. And they really mope and they're waiting for something to happen, but they won't really make any emotional decisions here. The Four of Cups is where we sit and do nothing. I don't know. Should I refuse this offer? Should I take it? I want happiness. I want healing. But the King of Cups seems to sort of want what he wants here, though. They're not sure what to do. Okay. How do they view you, Sag? How does this person view Sagittarius? They view you as the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> you could be married to this person. You could be married to another person. You could have a really wonderful family. They view you as a person that wants happy endings in their life or a happy ending in this situation, if that's possible. This could also be a family member. The Two of Cups. Wow. You might have made it very clear what you wanted at one point with them. You might have, you might be saying, we really need to have a heart to heart conversation about how we can have an emotional happy ending, even if we're not together. Cards of soulmates here, but you were showing a lot of vulnerability. This person might be kind of emotionally manipulative when they want to be, maybe. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini here. Lots of water here. Lots of emotions. What action do they want to take towards Sagittarius? They might have wanted that with you as well. They might view you as the one. <laughs> <clears throat> what action? Oh, hang on, you guys. Sorry. I had to cough up a lung. <laughs> It's early. My throat chakra is activated a little bit, I guess, in a weird way. All right. Well, what action does this person want to take towards Sagittarius? The Nine of Wands. Well, they're really guarded and worn down. But I think they're willing to hang in there with you. I notice he's looking up at all of his trapped thoughts and wondering what to do. Knight of Swords, they might feel like you've rushed at them and said something harsh to them, or they think about just rushing right in and taking action, but they're worried about being left out in the cold. How does this person really feel about Sagittarius? Four of Swords, this all stresses them out. They need to think about it. The Moon, they don't know what they want. Yeah, the Moon, the Hangman, they've had to wait. They've had to pause. This stresses them out. They feel anxious and secure. Something's veiled and hidden in the moonlight for them. They don't trust something entirely. They might be hiding something from you, hiding something from themselves. The Moon is an emotional feeling. Pisces here, Cancer here. And they're hung up. They're paused. Can I make a sacrifice? I'm in a situation I don't feel really comfortable with here. Hmm. The King of Wands. Somebody might want, I have two kings here. We have two different kinds of relationships happening at once, maybe. Who's the King of Wands, you or them? Because the King of Cups is loving and will commit. The King of Wands puts himself first. He'll commit too. As long as he gets laid and he gets to be in charge and he gets a lot of excitement and attention and passion. Okay. What's between these two lovely people? Oh, the three of swords and temperance is here. That's your card, Sag. What's between these two? Oh, they want me to do it different. They want me to pull it off the bottom of the deck. All right. Whatever you say, spirit. Once in a while, they do that to me. Three of swords, five of pentacles, temperance. Okay. Well, here you are, Sagittarius. There's Between the two of you, there's been heartbreak, people feeling left out in the cold and worried, and some healing and moderation. And the purpose needs to be determined. You could be being very aloof, <clears throat> or they are, because temperance sort of doesn't even see that someone else is hurting and left out in the cold, or can this be healed and mended and fixed if we practice moderation and we determine the purpose and we're very patient? What are the challenges? What are the challenges, the hidden factors? 
You are being divinely guided out of this pain, though, I think. The challenge is you have to just wait for something. The challenge is maybe you're waiting for somebody else to put in the work with you. When do I get to retire? <laughs> when do I get to stop working in this garden? Someone's just having to wait, <clears throat> doing a lot of reevaluation, uh, re waiting almost in futility. Someone has a lot of desire. A Leo could be a challenge. Like a Leo could literally be the problem. But strength is where someone has a lot of desire and a lot of pride and a lot of raw emotion and strength of character is coming into question. Are you strong enough? Are they strong enough? Strength only comes when it's called for. It's taking strength in this page of cups. A child could be a problem or someone just has a small expression. An apology needs to be made, maybe. A young, small, tiny person. Okay, what's Sag going to do? Nine of Wands, now you're all guarded. You're like, I'm hanging in there, Samachandra. I don't know about this situation. It's a test of faith. Death. Are you waiting for someone to die? <laughs> this Scorpio here. This is hanging in there until an ending happens. A death and a rebirth. You might be simply very guarded with this person because it's ended. Six of Pentacles, you absolutely want equal give and take. Some of you are waiting for some kind of money or an inheritance or something. That's not true for all of you, though. I just heard that, though, out of nowhere. You definitely want equal give and take. But the Six of Pentacles can be breadcrumbing where someone's standing over the other person and the other person's on their knees taking whatever is given to them. But with the Six of Pentacles, it's we only give as much as we have to give. You might feel spread very thin, and you know that that needs to change because you're barely hanging on here. But you don't want to give up. You don't want to give in. You want to be able to make it back to base camp. The Nine of Pentacles or Nine of Wands is life is a battlefield. What's this person going to do? Four of Pentacles. They're going to hold on tight to what they've got. The fool, they want a new beginning. They want to be lighthearted and carefree. They do not want to be tied down. They're going to hold back from you. They might be focused on an Aries, a Libra, a Pisces, a Gemini. They might be that sign. What else are they going to do? I think they're going to hold back for now and pretend like everything is just fine. Or they might be saving every penny they have so they can start a new venture. You might be helping them in some way. The High Priestess, Pisces, Libra here. This person's going to be very quiet and keep their own counsel. What's the best case scenario? What advice do you have, Spirit, about this relationship or this situation? The Moon. Things are not as they seem. There is a vagueness and an instability and a vulnerability and an insecurity. Things are being hidden. Things might be making you feel nervous or insecure. Make sure you're not the moon can be blind love or not or going into something blind. There's just a lot of uncertainty moving forward. Um, if there was a Pisces involved, they might choose the Pisces. Just FYI. But there's just a lot of vagueness moving forward. Make sure you operate. Don't make any major decisions until you have clarity. The Knight of Wands, well, somebody really wants to burst forth with passion. Even though they don't really know which direction they're going, somebody might be hiding that they're running around. Eight of Cups, and someone's walking away. Whoa. I don't know what's going on. I want a lot of passion, then I'm going to walk away. <sighs> Memories, missing someone. Here's this Queen of Swords wanting answers. It's Judgment Day. Someone's all stressed out. Okay. Yeah, major decisions needing to be made. I just see, I heard this Queen of Swords say, cut out the crap, we're not kids anymore. <laughs> You're really trying to make a major decision moving forward and be really smart about it. You know you have to leave the past behind and know exactly what you want. That could be stressful. You could be tugged by memories of the past as well, and it might be affecting your decisions. 
which makes sense. The hermits here, you're going to think about it. They're pulling back. They're saying we're done. Okay, Sagittarius, that's your reading for July 31st through August 2nd. I hope it resonates with you guys, and I hope it helps you guys. Book a private reading with me if you want to work with me personally. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sagittarius. I really love you guys. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time.